Yo, what's up everybody? Hades here today with a new video and in today's video, I wouldn't call this a guide, but you can use it as a guide. I'm going to be going after the secret slime serpent mount in Plaguefall. To get this mount, you have to solo the last two bosses in the heroic difficulty. My recommendations are if you're going to go and chase this mount like I just did because I want every mount, I'd suggest using a tank class or a hunter with a pet that can hold aggro while you DPS and that will probably be a lot faster if you're good with your pet. Alright, so you really want to see me get this mount? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to smash that subscribe button and we're going to get into today's video and let's see if Hades, the mighty Hades, can get the Slime Serpent secret mount. I am Hades. Alrighty. So, for all those who do not know where Plaguefall is, Plaguefall is right here in Maldraxxus, right where I am, where the circle is. Zoom, 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 zoom. So what we're going to do now is turn the dungeon difficulty onto Heroic, because it has to be on Heroic for this to work, otherwise there's no chance. So once we're inside, the first thing you're going to have to do, let's skip the first two bosses. You can skip as much trash as you possibly can, or you can be a potato like myself, and I'm going to aggro this guy, I know it. Just look, he's, look at him. He's running there, running there, running there. Oh no, ooh. Hades wasn't a potato for once. I better not tell the guild, then they'll expect higher expectations of me. Alright, so this guy you can't dodge, unfortunately. So, even if you're a stealth class, he'll see you. So quickly just kill him. I'm literally going to do this, but you know what, this is a bit slow. And I'm going to speed this video up, okay? But... Don't forget to bring some invis pots. I don't think I used any. I don't remember. But bring some just in case if you're not a stealth class. But you can't invis past him. Alright. We're about to fast forward now. Alright. Now that we're in... Okay. I can't do super fast motion with my mouth. I tried. Kill this guy. And we're going to run around him in the water like I'm about to do. That water does hurt you. So if you're going to use an invis pot, just don't. So if you sneak through here, you'll usually be able to pull just one thing like me because i'm a potato and i pulled an ad i always do it in raid people just get upset or just go hades you potato <laughs> so once it's dead we're going to walk around here and we're going to kill these two guys here these guys do try and run away so if they start trying to run away stun them slow them because they can aggro the pack down there and you don't want that pack to the right aggro it's just a headache but unless you're a tank you're going to take it and with these tentacles, what I was doing, the little ads, they tend to self-destruct, pull them on top, and then when they start self-destructing, run back, and it will take a lot of damage. When it takes a lot of damage, it makes that thing a lot quicker to kill. But if you're a tank class, you should be fine. Same with this guy. They'll kamikaze on top of him, and they'll die really quick. So once you're done here, killing them, well, once they blow themselves up, you're going to come up to the second boss. You can skip all this. I go around in the water, but don't stay too long in the water like i did i lost a lot of health and i had to stop and try and recover i did slow the video down to show you my path but once i finish this and i'll try and heal for some reason my food didn't want to work but yes bring some potions bring drums and bring some food because again i'm hades i'm a potato i try and wing everything i do i don't know why i just like doing it it's more fun that way you just dive in head first and go for it okay now back to fast motion mode we're going to go and kill this little slime, and then we're going to run around the outside, just like you would in a Mythic Plus to skip trash. Run straight through. And these guys, these guys are annoying. They're going to spawn little, like, stealthlings. When they spawn and go hiding, go towards them and just AoE them down. They'll die relatively quick. Make sure you keep any interrupts that you need ready. This was... This was... Yeah, it was fun. I did not like this part. I somehow managed to stay alive, and... May I add, I am not a tank. I am terrible at tanking. I just really wanted this mount. And I heard you had to be a tank. I should have went in and tried it as a DPS. But after doing this, I can tell you now, just, just be a tank for now. Eventually, later in the expansion, it will be easier. Unless you're an exceptional DPS with like healing abilities. Like, say, we'll say Druid. Uh, I heard Shadow Priest can do it somehow. Uh, Paladins. You know what? As a DK, I probably should have been able to do it. You know? Death Strike, Death Strike, Death Strike. Icebound Fortitude. 
but I did it the hard way. I went blood. And yeah. So I'm going to slow down the video again when I get to the boss because there's a few things you need to know that will probably make your job a bit easier. So hold on. Wait a minute. And fast forward mode is now off. So once he does shadow ambush on you, you're going to have a circle around you. If you do this in the dungeon, you'll know you're meant to run out. It is going to stun you. And then in this phase now, with all the assassins, you want to go around collecting all the webs. Once you run into the webs, they'll come out of stealth and just AoE them down. Um, there's not much to it. It's just a rinse and repeat. I would honestly try and keep your health up as much as you can, which is a uh, uh, no-brainer, Hades. There, yeah, as you can see, I'm going around. I tend to sometimes use my, my, what do you call it? My shadow. See, I am human after all. <laughs> my death and decay. I use my death and decay to throw it out there to get the ones in the distance. I know demon hunters can fell rush it or use their glaives, etc, etc. Or even their fell eruption. And yeah, and it's a rinse and repeat fight. Just just keep your health up when you, he's got your shadow ambush because you will get stunned unless you've got something that doesn't stun you or can pull you out of stun. That's my only advice there. So let's fast forward it again. I wouldn't call it fast forwarding, but I'd call it I've gone Goku Ultra Instinct. Now that I'm Ultra Instinct, I can like literally move at the speed of... I don't know if you can hear that. It's me clicking my fingers. That's That's terrible. This fight took me a bit, but I got it down. And I was really happy because I did not expect to get this far. <laughs> um, once it gets down, the next boss is another boss that's a basically rinse and repeat. It was it was kind of painful, but again, it's manageable, especially if you know how to self heal, mitigate your damage. You're not going to have a problem, and it will help if you do know the fight. If you don't know the fight, I'd suggest reading up on the heroic mechanics at least. Um, I'm going to try and explain it to you once I get down there. I'm fast forwarding it as fast as I can. These guys I'm going to kill quickly. Like beep, 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 beep. So now these guys here. Try and keep your distance with these guys. But go around the outside and kill the outside ones first before you kill the first pack. The first pack guy will he will transform them and they'll become even stronger and they will hurt you. But try and keep your distance when you're attacking these guys because they do hurt. Um, as you can see now he will transform one of them on me. Because he's in the middle of that pack, there's no choice, but you're just going to AoE them down. As simple as that. And once he disappears and vanishes and comes back, pill, 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 yep. Alright, Cadgar, we get it, you can disappear. Chill out. Come on, come on, come on, and he's dead. Alright. Now we're going to start this boss. This boss is a simple thing. You're basically going to attack the ad, kill the ad as fast as you can. And it, it doesn't do too much damage if you can keep up your your like healing attacks. For me, it's Death Strike. I was Death Striking a lot and just shuffling between them. I kind of felt I could have just went all out on the boss, but I did not want to risk a wipe. So I was trying to do the mechanics, which you should be doing in the first place. Always, 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 always do mechanics. And then in this phase here, when the slimes go green, you're going to play dodgeball, literally. So when the first ones come up, that's when you, you know what, I'm going to slow that down for the next lot of slimes. Because I don't feel, if you don't know the mechanic, you won't see what I was doing. But when the tentacles come up, the first ones are usually the first ones that are come slamming down. So you want to go around, away from them. And when they go down, they're going to turn like a bright green and they're going to smash. But when I get up to the next part for the next phase, because I, I definitely got that phase twice. Because you're going to get that phase twice. And then you're going to get a third phase of that, which is you've got to play follow the leader. So now I've slowed it down. You're going to see the tentacles come up. And then where the green ones go, then you're going to move to that area. It's a pretty simple mechanic. But now we're in the third phase. And I've slowed the video down again so you can see the third phase. These Once you kill the last ad, they're going to spawn. So basically you want to be walking around where the first one is. Because the first one's always going to be the one that goes down first. And then you just go around in a circle. Until they all crash. And that's basically the whole fight. Literally, don't be a potato. Keep your heels up. Dodge things. Do mechanics. And once you kill this boss, you're going to have a pretty awesome, ugly looking mount. I don't know why. I just wanted the mount count. But that's me. I'm Hades. I like collecting mounts. Alright, so now hopefully this boss is about to die. Again, once they go green, move the hell away from it. That's the way they're going to crash. Mitigate, mitigate, self-heal, kill. 
Once we kill the boss, we're going to run out and we're going to go up the stairs and to the right, there's a teleporter. We're going to take the teleporter. It's going to bring us back to the top. And you're going to see now, to the left, there's a slime serpent. You're going to walk up to him and you're going to click him and it's going to pet him. And then there you have it. Hades got the ugly mount. And if I can do it, you can do it. If you get this mount, take a screenshot, throw it down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And my friends, I'll catch you in my next video. Thank you all and take care.